what is good youtube welcome back my name is kelly for those that are new and today we're going to talk about record labels and why we don't need record labels as an artist in 2024 first off let's talk about what a record label is and what it does for you record labels will manufacture distribute and promote the music of their affiliated artists manufacture they will give you a bunch of money a record deal to go record and make a bunch of music pay for your studio time your accommodations your travel that money is meant to be invested into you making music buying beats and all this is is a loan it's a loan you gotta pay that back you better hope your music sells because until you recoup that and pay that loan back you're not making any money off your music and once you do pay it back you're only gonna get a small percentage of your music, like 20% if you're lucky. Maybe if you already have a huge fan base and success before you go into the deal, you can negotiate 50, but that's only if you have leverage and you have a bunch of success going into the deal, which a lot of people don't. So cool, they give you a bunch of money to accommodate you while you record your album and make your music. Well, nowadays, anybody can make music in their bedroom and record at their house you don't need a $100,000 studio to go to. And plus, we have a million mixing tutorials online that you can learn how to mix music and record music in your room. You could also buy vocal presets. Get your vocal presets today. It's kelly.com. You can literally record a hit song and cash out from the comfort of your own home. And plus, there's millions of beats online you guys can purchase. Hell, freaking little TJ still be using YouTube beats. And you have hundreds of options of beats to choose from. I'm sure you can find one that you like. Now, this wasn't really possible 20 years ago, 15 years ago. But today, it is. Distribution. So a record label is going to distribute your music for you. Now, back in the day when we were selling CDs at Walmart and Best Buy, that could be, that could be super handy. But today, everything's online and all the music is streamed. Anybody can upload their songs and distribute their music online by themselves. You could literally get a song on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Tidal, whatever it is tomorrow there's services like tunecore and distrokid personally i use distrokid and you can upload as many songs as you want a year for only 23 dollars 18 dollars a year if you guys use my coupon code down below in the description check it out and this will get your music on all platforms spotify Tidal, google play amazon music itunes all platforms for only 18 dollars a year as many songs as you want to so we don't really need labels anymore to distribute our music then we got promotion now this is one thing i do think labels are good for is promotion labels have connections so they can really get your music out there get you on billboards get you radio play get you spotify playlisting get you on shows like the breakfast club and market you as an artist so when it comes to promotion labels can definitely be handy but if your music is not selling get ready to take the back seat at the label because they only prioritize artists that are selling a label will sign hundreds of artists but majority of these artists fail but then there's a few artists that do really well and make up for the rest and those are the artists that the label will prioritize. I've heard lots of horror stories about artists signing to major labels, screwing themselves over and having to owe money to the label because it didn't work out. Imagine having to buy yourself out out of a label contract, that would suck. I don't know about you, but I hate having debt. So although getting signed to a label can sound good, it comes with a lot. And a lot of people don't think about all this. Now, if you can crank out hit song after hit song after hit song, then maybe you're a good fit for a label but most people can't do that. At the end of the day, it's really up to you what you want, but personally, I think if you can make a living off doing what you love, you're living the dream. And in 2024, you can do that in the comfort of your own home. Independently, no label, thanks to the internet. And if you're dope enough and you have ambition, you should be able to find success independently, build connections and sell out shows and make a living off doing what you love without a label. We have so many tutorials online that you can learn things on, so much information out there, and there's so many outlets you can use to promote yourself. I don't know about you, but I, I think labels are becoming a thing of the past. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. I appreciate it. Drop a comment. Let me know what your opinions are, and I'll see you guys. Oh, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That helps. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace.